Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode of Thomas in China. Today I'm going to talk about money. I'm going to talk about two things. First, the money with the note and the different coin. The second one is how to open a bank account. Let's talk about the money. First, the note. As you can see, I have all the note and the coin you can find in China. We can separate it into two different classes. The first one from 5 to 100 is the knot, it's always a knot, it, can, it cannot be a coin. And each one has its own color. The 100 is really easy to recognize, it's red and you can check if it's a real one. Just by put your finger right here and you will feel something on the line. This line are all the knot and to check if it's the real one, just pass your finger. Because in China, you have fake money and if you don't check if the cashier gives you the fake money, you will be in trouble and maybe lost some money. Now let's talk about this free knot. These three knot are one wen, five chao and one chao. For this free amount, you can have a knot or a coin. Let's compare the knot. One one is really easy to recognize. It's the most common in China. It's just light green and with Mao like the other. For these two knots, for me, it looks like Monopoly knot. I, I don't know, the first time I thought it, it was the fake one. But actually not. This one is 50p and this one 10p. They are really small and really useless, but sometimes it's good to have. I keep it always in my pocket and when the first time the cashier give me this knot, I say, okay, it is the real one. But the next time they give me this two coin and I say, what the hell is that? Is it fake? No, actually it is the same amount of these two. The golden one is 50p and the silver one is 10p. If you pay by cash in the underground, you can also have this one. This one is the biggest coin, is one wen. It's the same amount than this knot. Then don't worry if you have some coin in China. Now we see we have a lot of coin. But the really important things when you arrive for work or study in China, you need to open a bank account. And for your bank account, you have choice. You can choose any bank in your town. I advise you to choose a bank close to your home. And as you can, go to see them every day if you want. Basically, uh, you have three big banks all over China, which is Bank of China, Bank of Construction, and ICBC. Personally, I choose Bank of Construction. Why? It's close to my home, I pass in front of every day. To open a bank account, I advise you to have two things. First, your passport. Second, a Chinese friend. Why you need a Chinese friend? Because in the bank, you are in China, and maybe they are not going to speak English. And if you don't speak Chinese, it's really hard to communicate. If you don't have a Chinese friend, you can have a translator on your phone. It's really easy, you can use it and let the cash, the bank read it for you. And they are going to help you to file the paper and everything. About the bank, I need to tell you something. Is you are going to transfer your money from your country. If like me, I'm French, I have three different names. But for my bank in France, my name is just Thomas. But for the bank in China, my name is my free name. And when my French bank transfer the money to China, they just only put Thomas. But the Chinese bank don't want to give me the money because for them, I'm not only Thomas, I'm Thomas plus my two other names. But pay attention when you transfer the money from your country to China. Ask to your bank in your own country to put your full name as wrote in your passport. Because if you don't put your full name, you will not receive your bank transfer. You cannot take 
the money on your account. Yeah, because when you receive the bank transfer, you need to go to the bank and show your identity. I hope this video helps you for your arrival in China, which can be for study or work or tourist. If you like it, you can leave a comment or press like and don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter or YouTube. Just click on one of the buttons you can see on the screen. Then see you next Sunday for a new video. Did you click? Come on, click. <laughs> yeah, it's just here.